Hello! It has been a minute since I last updated anything on this, so I'm so happy to be here and be able to tell you guys about a really big announcement that I have. Um, first of all, I just got back from vacation and 2019 has been off to a really good start so far. Uh, my last surgery was getting my wisdom teeth out. I still have very little feeling right here, but like things are so good that it doesn't even matter at this point. Uh, I just it comes and goes and you know, I just roll with the punches. So I'm really glad that that's all over with because I don't want to go to the hospital anymore for that. Uh, but I was away on vacation, uh, last week. And while I was away, I got a confirmation that I am now going to be able to share with you guys. And that is that I was accepted for a scholarship for accessible yoga and I will now be leaving on Tuesday. So I came back on Tuesday and I'm leaving on Tuesday next week uh, for San Diego. So for a week, I'm going to go study some accessible yoga. And uh, I just, I can't even believe it. I'm so excited for this. And this means that I'll get to bring this back to my yoga studio. And I can't wait to get to share this with my community and all the others who I serve and get to be a part of in any way that's in the adaptive accessible community. So I am so grateful. Thank you, Accessible Yoga, for accepting me and wanting me in this program. And I really can't wait for next week. Uh, but yeah, so that's what's going on with that. I was away and I literally found this out while I was on vacation. So I had to book my plane and get all my things together and it just magically somehow worked out and now I'm just waiting for a Skype call for work. So I'm sitting at home and just getting my life together, unpacking from a cold vacation, now repacking and taking out my sundresses and my bathing suits and like, I can't even believe that they're real. Like this is not real for me. Um, I'm also applying for another grant, uh, Challenged Athletes, and I am looking for some things to do. I can have a couple options. Uh, so I'm just finalizing those things and hopefully in the near future, I'll get to share what I'm doing with that. But it's just really all good. And I am so happy that I have so many followers who are so supportive. So thank you all for sticking by me and being by my side and checking in on me when I'm not doing well. I really appreciate those things. And a lot of you, when I see you in person, or if I do see you in person, you say, oh, I saw that you posted this. Oh, I saw that you posted that. So it makes me feel really good for doing the things that I do. And it is hard sometimes to be open about my situation um, and being sick all the time. Uh, something that not a lot of people know is that while I was on vacation, I did end up getting really sick. Uh, this was Wednesday morning at 1 a.m. I was staying with uh, some family members who are gluten-free and vegan, and I am not, and I got really sick. So I did some research, and I saw that a lot of lupus patients have some problems with going gluten-free. So I thought that could do with it. So for about four nights in a row, I was just throwing up and getting really sick. And uh, I eventually said to my family, I need to go to the emergency room because I need to be able to fly home. <laughs> so I went to the emergency room and they pumped me up with fluids. Uh, and the doctors there said, you know, it could be the diet change, it could be this, I did have a cold, they think it could have had something to do with that, and now I'm getting some specialist testing done. Um, it's just crazy that, you know, it doesn't matter what I do, uh, all these things, it just always kind of comes back to just being sick. And that's it. Nothing more than realizing that this is my life and accepting it. I could fight myself over not wanting to go, but sometimes I just know in my body that I will feel better when I'm pumped up with some IV fluids and given some anti-nausea medication and under the eye of whoever needs to tell me that, you know, my blood tests look okay or my urinalysis looks okay, any of those things. And it is hard. Uh, I was there from 1 a.m. until about, I think, 10.30 or 11.00. Luckily, we got my flight pushed back. So uh, with the doctor's note and, you know, some care from American Airlines, thank you so much. It was greatly appreciated, whoever's out there. Um, 
yeah, I just really, I needed time. So now that I'm home and I have some time in between that and the next thing, I'm just going to chill. Uh, it is absolutely snowing outside. I mean like absolutely snowing and I'm not going anywhere. I have a staff meeting tonight uh, via a video call. So that is in my plans. Maybe a bath, maybe some more self care. We'll see what happens. It's a free Friday night at home. So I'll take it. Thank you guys again. I love all of you to death. Please be well and stay in touch. Bye. Stay tuned.